Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ando. Thank you for coming out to this video today. I know it's been a while since we posted, but that's because, you know, I've been trying to keep quiet as, you know, maybe this road ahead um, comes to be something that we really want and that we can start creating videos on that. But I decided that I was going to create this video for Jedi Knight Luke and basically how to mod or how at least I modded to be successful. Now, uh, the big note here is that I did this entire event with Relic 3 characters with the exception of Chewbacca because Chewbacca I had at Relic 5 before the event started. And then I did it with pretty minimal Zetas as well. And um, the only Zeta that I ended up adding was the Vader lead Zeta. So, uh, and that's because I thought that like, as soon as I started playing, I was like, this is not going to be possible for us to do without. But if you guys know of a way to do it, um, be sure to hit up the comment section down below. Just trying to create a video that is useful for people. Um, so that way you know, like, hey, you don't have to invest, you know, Relic 5s and, and a lot of these people are 7s or, or anything like that. Uh, this doesn't seem like that kind of event. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys are enjoying it, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll, we'll try to produce some more videos for you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so tier one is CLS versus Wampa. Uh, very fun, it was very engaging to try to figure out when to use what. Um, and so I did it two ways. I did one with a Grievous set, um, which was high health, obviously, um, some crit damage in there. And the reason for that was because of Icebreaker. Icebreaker's base uh, gives you 150% max, uh, or protection up. Protection up is based off of your max health. So obviously that increases that, that amount of protection up uh, that you're gonna get. I would say though that this, that, that was very RNG dependent. This way with, uh, so this is, these are my actual most, or at least most of them are my Emphis Nest mods. And I have a very slow but high tenacity build on, on that Emphis Nest. I think I did take out some of the, I think I have some offense on her instead. I put in some higher health mods um so that way i can get more protection up here uh, but i would not worry about offense uh, unless you have like a high relic uh wampa i don't think you're gonna go in there and just beat the crap out of cls and then call it a day like this is definitely going to be a little bit more of a marathon than anything and that's how i kind of remember it in the stream anyways um wait until luke uh so fury's foe is where you're gonna gain the stacking offense wait until luke is out of call to action before you use it and the reason why i say that is because he has a hundred percent counter chance and also he's going to um, resist all of the debuffs that you try to put on him so you're not going to gain that 20 percent terminator when you attack him anyways uh, uh, due to him not being have, like any debuffs and two um uh you know you're going to kind of save yourself by not allowing him to counter you which might add a debuff to yourself and then you're going to lose that 20 percent terminator so uh, overall, the tenacity set worked. I mean, the see I have purple mods in here. Uh, definitely uh, recommend using a tenacity set. Um, again, don't really have to worry about high, high offense numbers. Try to boost up the health a little bit, and I think you guys will be all right. All right, so for tier two, it is CLS versus Wampa. You just basically are reversing roles here, and. Um, the big thing that I noticed is that I think, so we originally just threw on, I think, Darth Revan's kit, which made him really fast. Um, but the th big thing that I noticed was we then threw a potency cross and then a potency, um, well, I think it's like a crit damage, but with a potency set um, triangle instead. And that kind of increased our potency up quite a bit. And that was the big difference, right? We, we went in the first battle, I think we got our butts kicked to us. And then um, we went in the second one with higher potency because we wanted to reduce the TM uh, constantly. The biggest thing on tier two, honestly, is gonna be figuring out when to use call to action versus when not to. Um, I, the way that I saw it, and I think the way that worked for me was, um, you know, the first move, I think I used use the force, which reduces 100% turn meter. And then I did a few basics, right? And then there was a time where, oh, okay, he's getting a lot of turn meter again. Right, those 30%, or maybe I missed a 30%, um, and so, all, or maybe I needed the heal, and so um, 
the call to action was more for like, hey, I'm gonna reduce the cooldown of use the force. Maybe, you know, it's got one cooldown left and he's got 90% turn meter. Okay, let's go ahead and use this and, and go ahead and knock him back down. Uh, that's the biggest key, I think. I don't think it's, I actually think Wampa was a little bit more difficult than uh, the other way around. But again, hopefully you guys can, can knock through this one pretty easily. All right, for tier three, you needed C-3PO, Chewbacca, Rebel Officer Leia Organa, and Lando Calrissian. So, um, it this is actually really funny because we just used this uh, mod preset. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and reuse the CLS mod set that we have on uh, uh, C-3PO. So, the only difference is, is instead of the crit damage triangle, I think I put a protection one. I think it, I think I took one from Old Ben. It had a high potency secondary. And uh, the reason why I did this though was because you kind of want him to go fast in this. And um, you'll see later on that like basically Chewbacca is going to be our big damage dealer here. And um, anytime that we can get him to assist, that's always a good thing. And um, anytime we can get, you know, a uh, translation on any one of our guys, um, you know, that's going to start reducing cold cooldowns and whatnot. So. Uh, it ended up being a really, really helpful uh, key component, I guess, in this team was making C-3PO very fast. Okay, so for Tier 3 Chewbacca, we ended up modding him with the same set that I used for my Kylo Ren, um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So high, high offense, like high, highest offense percentages and everything like that. Uh, it was an offense cross, offense uh, arrow. Uh, crit damage triangle um, It was just all offense basically anything that I could add to him and that's because uh, The way that I viewed it was you know seal or uh, C-3PO can add a stack of translation or you know kind of call to assist him as well um, Anytime that commander Han Solo because he had guard anytime he attacked he was going to assist as well uh, and then on top of that, you know uh, Chewbacca you know, gets his own turn as well. So, um, all those things combined definitely made me think like, okay, we just want to have him pack a punch and uh, he's kind of going to be our main damage dealer here. All right, so for Commander Han, um, this was a very funny one that we had to play around with because we wanted to try to switch the mods around so that way Chewbacca gave guard to Han Solo. Um, so we had to make him kind of we wanted to make him tankier but not so tanky that he lost guard and then we had to mess around with Rolo's mods because we wanted her to be you know survivable but not so survival we had to make her extra survivable we also wanted her to deal damage uh, so it was kind of a funny little balance that we did there um, but eventually we got this so we put a speed set and health set on them um, and obviously we wanted to maximize the health as much as possible because of uh, some of his abilities hunker down uh, being the main one. Uh, and the reason why we want to guard on him as well is because um, search and rescue, right? If someone else dies on the team, you're going to revive him. Uh, if he dies, then you're kind of stuck. The speed set was nice because, um, you know, going at a faster rate, uh, Chewbacca is able to assist more. If he's, Chewbacca is assisting more, you know, we dealt we modded him for pure damage, so he's going to be dealing a lot more damage um, there. And then uh, using his basic was good too, because you know there's some turn meter gain there. Using hunger down is good because it gains other people's turn meter, right? So um, overall, it was just more about figuring out how to use this guy again, because I haven't really seen him since uh, uh, Hoth TB. Um, where he was required to get like Rolo shards and I think that's a lot of times that was the like last place that a lot of people used them. Alright and finally we have Rolo. Um, again we wanted her to go really fast. Uh, we thought that um, her ability blocks and basically you know the Rebel Barrage that was a really good move so we wanted her to be as fast as possible but also again we needed to make her very kind of tanky um, so that way she was uh, not taking guard from Commander Han. So we found the way, the best way to do that was uh, some of these bottom air, like some of these bottom things, instead of having like offense, which is what we originally wanted to have, uh, we threw in like protection arrows or protection cross, protection circle, and it really bumped up uh, Rolo's uh, protection. So 
just I think at the end of the day just really remember that um, get our damage as high as possible um, but I think it's at the end of the day it was better for us it, you, I don't even have the crit damage uh, I don't even have a crit damage um, triangle on her I'm pretty sure I have a, a protection one on her just get her damage as high as possible um, get the potency up a little bit as you can see we got a you know a couple maybe 10% or so less than 10 but um, definitely you want to make sure she's tanky because you got to give guard over to, to Commander Han. All right, so tier four was just the ships. Very easy. I mean, it's it just kind of an RNG thing. Like if they get burning on you, uh, probably over. Um, but, you know, you just need the Hans Lin and Falcon and uh, there's no need for you to get, uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, recommended Relic 5 Wedge, no way. Do not do that unless you just really love your wedge. Um, you can definitely get, I've, I've heard of people doing it gear 11 with them. Um, so don't worry too much about the ship's phase as far as like modding and stuff like that. Uh, you could tell even with mine, my wedge, I don't even have 60 mods on them. So it's not like that really affected anything. Um, so yeah, I would not worry about the ships at all as far as relics or gear or you know mods or anything like that. All right, so for tier five, it's gonna be Hoda and CLS that are required to go in and for the Dagobah mission, basically. Um, I didn't change my mods at all for Hoda. I don't think you really even need to. Um, he's pretty fast, I guess. You know, I don't have like an insane speed set on him. He's kind of naturally fast in general. Um, it's funny those. I even have mismatching mod sets because uh, those just offer me some of the better speeds um, that were available without taking anything away from anyone useful but yeah this is like my normal set I didn't even I didn't you know throw anything on there um, and it's not really required I don't think because of um, in the last tier it's gonna be CLS versus Darth Vader and so um, yeah this guy doesn't even really matter anymore after that uh, and then the CLS mods were the same mods that I showed you before so if you just create the loadout and be able to assign it to them um, you should be fine with that all right so tier six this is definitely the hardest tier um, again this would probably be where uh, you know I was very glad that I had a relic 5 Chewbacca already but these were my stats that I had um, so we mess around with mods a lot on this phase and um, at the end of the day what I felt like definitely helped us was um, we added some, we basically I made Chewbacca a tank. Um, these mods that you're seeing right now is the actual mod set that I use for my boss, right? So he's, he's a little bit quicker than he was before, does a lot less damage than he did before, but that's because of the, the event abilities. Um, it kind of allowed you to basically not deal as much damage there wasn't you weren't getting the assists like you you were before like there's no guard um so the new chewbacca with c3p on the back he had a different kit in general and so the biggest one was if i could change a little bit of mod set on this is maybe add a little bit more potency right that's potency is pretty low and so um, but I basically made him a tank, a fast tank too. I wanted him to go often because he deals a lot of damage and he d deals the most important debuff in this event, which is the blinds. If you can land the blinds, I think you really buy yourself a shot. The other thing too um, that I, I switched around a little bit more and why I chose boss is because I load protection on my boss. I would load protection on your um, all, on all your tier six characters. In, instead of choosing health uh, circles, choose protection circles. Um, and it, where it permits, choose uh, you know like this, you know protection everything. Try not to even have a big um, health secondary because. The amount of exposes that you get on this phase is kind of ridiculous, and exposes uh, are going to deal 20% 20, uh, 20 damage of your health. So if you have a big health pool, they're all automatically doing their damage on top of 20% of your health. So this is why we went with protection, um, and then on the stream, uh, we changed around some of these mods to make sure that they were protection. But yeah, overall, uh, just 
speed and potency if you can. Uh, we just had a defense set. I mean, it just made us a little bit more tankier at the end of the day. He's, he's very, very important in this phase. Okay, so Rolo also has a different kit. And so we decided to basically throw our CLS. So the reason why I threw the CLS one on there is one, the potency was nice, ad additional potency. And two, um, it was a fast kit and that's what we needed. And I, and I noticed that like with this amount of health and protection, I, it wasn't really so much that I was losing Leia uh, that often. It was more about, um, again, figuring out how to, you know, get the ability blocks, which were important obviously. Um, and finding out the right timing between um, when to use Chewbacca's, um, you know, ability that cleansed us, especially when we had exposes, or when they were about to take a turn. And so it really just came down. Chewbacca is definitely the key here, but um, this upped our crit damage. This upped quite a few things and made her a little bit quicker. All right, and then that really the final one because C-3PO is needed for the event, but his mods don't. I don't even think I I, I actually clicked on him during the stream, and um, I didn't even have mods equipped to him. So um, it, it, because the the unit that they give you is going to be scaled off of Chewbacca's mods, gear, etc. So. Basically, you could have just a C-3PO, no mods, and it'd be fine. All right, so this is probably the one that I'm gonna get the most flack for. And um, they're probably, everyone's probably like, why don't you have a crit damage set? Okay, so two reasons. One, I tried my best one, right? And my best one, I'll admit, is just pretty trash. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I just don't have crit damage sets that are like super OP. So if you have that, then good for you. You're, you're probably going to be way better off in this event than I was. However, what I will say is that, so the the mod set that I'm using on him right now is um, GM wise. So you can see I have like this, almost no speed on him. Uh, a little bit of health and protection you can see there. Uh, the crit damage is nice on it, but uh, you're probably, like I said, you're probably seeing the offense mod set and you're probably like, oh man, what the heck, this guy doesn't know what we're doing. One, you're probably right, and two, um, again, it just came down to, we tried a lot, a lot, if you were out on the stream, you know, we tried a lot of mod sets, and I was like, you know what, let's just go for pure offense, I don't know, we'll, we'll just try it, and so we threw that on there, and I'll tell you what, um, that damage that he was producing was good enough, I, I would, again, I would say that, like, if you can get a guy that, you know, is doing 35 or 40k on, on crits with uh, Lando, which probably some people can, uh, I was I was averaging about I would say around 20 to 25 on a on a crit uh, with all those AOEs. So not the best, but not the worst. He he's constant though, so um, it it did help. All right, so tier seven is CLS versus Vader. No big changes again with mods. We went with a speed and potency. If I if you were I just did this for simplicity's sake to see if it would work. If you were to change this around, um, I would say speed and you know something else with offense or some crit damage as well, um, because you're not really going to land the stuns. You're not going to reduce the turn meter um, on Vader. So it's really just more about hey, how many times can you go? How much damage you're dealing per the turn? Um, so if you wanted to, to remove to remove some of this, you know, I would definitely you know look into removing these potency sets. Uh, because they didn't really do anything, right? Um, I could have probably did it a lot easier had I not, you know, if I maybe threw an offense cross on him or, um, you know, something else, you know, even even a crit chance or something like that. Um, it would probably would have helped out a lot more. And now the final, right? The final phase, tier eight of the event. Super cool. Um, loved every second of it. I think all I did was, I don't know if this was a preset, but I think all I did was basically take the CLS mod set and I think I, I, upped, the, I upped the potency a little bit more. So I picked up a few more mods that, that dealt more potency um, because you need to lay on the dots. And that goes into why we had to eventually Zeta this leadership, right? Because basically as soon as a dot expires, um he's gonna regain so it it i think you start off i believe it, if i remember right it was like 25 cooldown um 
to basically win the event, right? You can't sit there and defeat him. It's not like you can, you know, have sheer overpower him type thing. But um, you're you're sitting there and you're adding dots, and it's one of those things where you'll maybe do a culling blade to expire some more. If they pop up again, he'll kind of play into it. He'll call the action and he'll expire some more on himself and then they'll re pop back up, right? Each one, each time that that happens, you know, you're reducing that cooldown each time. So I think we just try to make him a little bit more tankier to, to survive that long and then add some potency to him. Um, but yeah, overall, was really, really pleased with it. Uh, just took us a few times to, to kind of figure out the modding for this, this, uh, this last tier.